Hi, I'm Mark Cunningham with Grace Property Management. One question we're asked by a lot of new landlords as they're deciding to rent their property out is simply this. Do I have to provide appliances? And then number two, do I have to maintain them? If I put the appliances in, am I as the landlord the one that has to fix them when they break? So let's look at the first part of the question. Are you required to provide appliances to your tenants? Now, legally speaking, the answer is no. There is no legal requirement that you provide any appliances for your tenant. Now, Colorado has what is called a Warranty of Habitability Code. So this is a, it's a two-page code that the state legislature actually passed in Colorado several years ago, and it outlines what habitability means legally. What are the things that you as a landlord must provide to your tenant per state law? And some of the things are uh, working window locks. The property has to be clean. The plumbing has to be working. There has to be electrical. Uh, there has to be receptacles for trash. It's very basic type things. Nothing in this document or anywhere else states that you must legally provide appliances. So to answer the legal question, no, you do not need to provide any appliances. And, and we've seen that from time to time in properties where there will be nothing. There will be no refrigerator. There will be no stove. There will be zero appliances provided which leads us to the practicality side. Practically speaking, yes, you do want to and you do need to provide appliances. And why do we say practically? Because this is what your competition is doing. If an applicant is out there looking at three, four, five properties, odds are they're all going to have appliances provided. So if you are the landlord that's not providing appliances, you're gonna fall behind and that people are not gonna rent your property. Now, what about specifically things like washers and dryers? That's where it gets tricky. Everybody gets that they need a refrigerator and a stove Dishwasher, maybe so, maybe not, but washers and dryers are tough. So we don't necessarily recommend to our landlords they provide those, but part of the difficulty within this whole aspect of if you provide them is the concept, do I have to maintain them? Because I'm happy to put them in, you say, but if it breaks or if my tenant neglects them, do I have to maintain those appliances? Do I as the landlord have to fix them? And the answer to that is you need to refer back to your lease agreement. It's not a clear cut yes or no. What does your lease agreement say in place with your tenant. Now, if your lease agreement is silent on the aspect of what you will be doing as it relates to, per, to appliances, then the bad news for you is this. Legally, if you provide it, you must maintain it. That's just state law. If you provide it, you must maintain it. So if your lease doesn't talk about appliances, but you provide appliances and appliances break, you must maintain it at your expense. You provide it, you must maintain it. So at a minimum, what you wanna have are two clauses in your lease agreement with your tenant as it relates to those appliances. And one of the clauses needs to say something like this. It needs to say that the tenant is responsible for tenant caused damage and neglect. So what that means is if the appliance repair man goes out and they determine that the reason the stove is not working properly is because the tenant has abused the stove or is misusing the stove, then in that case, you as the landlord would not have to repair or fix that item. Why? Because it was tenant caused damage or tenant neglect. So you want to have some type of a clause like that. The second clause you want to have relates to giving you as the landlord more options around appliances specifically. And you may want to say something like this. The owner, that's you, the owner has the option to repair, replace, or remove appliances if they cease to function. That's an important clause. That's a very, very big deal because what appliance breaks down more often than anything else are dryers, you know, washers and dryers, both together, but especially the dryers. So what we recommend is if you're, if you're providing a dryer or if the prior tenant moved out and they left behind their dryer, that's fine. Leave it for the next tenant. But new Mr. Tenant, Miss Tenant, if that appliance breaks down, we have the option of repairing, replacing, or even removing it. So if the unit's just shot, we're gonna remove it, and then it's up to you to determine if you wanna put a new appliance in. But if you do not have this, this language in your lease agreement, then you are stuck with maintaining it. Now you wanna be realistic, you wanna provide these things and fix these things when appropriate with, with your tenants, but make sure you have this lease agreement clause in place. Now if you're a client with Grace Management, don't worry, we have clauses like this already in our tenant lease agreement. If you're not one of our clients, add this kind of clause to your lease agreement or call us up, we'd be happy to offer some additional services, some thoughts on the ways you wanna structure your lease agreement so you're not stuck fixing appliances when tenants neglect them or tenants break them. We can be reached at rentgrace.com, give us a call, we're happy to be a service.